What's going on guys, it is Trippy here again today, and today I'm going to give you guys another After Effects tutorial, and um, this is going to be a glow effect that's going to be synced to the beat of the song, and uh, if you guys wanted to see a tutorial uh, in the future, uh, I can upload a tutorial on how to do like a synced flashes, like a screen flash to the beat of the song, and I'm only going through this tutorial really quick because I have, I just got done doing this tutorial, and I messed up at the very end, so I have to redo it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing this really fast. So this is going to be a preview to what um, it should look like at the end. I know that you guys probably can't see it too well because you're watching through a computer screen that, through a computer screen, um, like a double computer screen, I don't know. Um, but basically, um, it should look cool, like a really nice sync effect to the, um, to the song once you are done with this. So you guys can basically see that there's like a little glow effect that kind of is synced up to the base song. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hop into this really quick because I want to get this tutorial done and over with. Um, so what you're going to do is uh, click on your song layer and type in uh, bass and treble into your uh, effects and presets. Drag that down to your, uh, your song layer. Uh, bump the bass up to about 50 and then bring your treble all the way down to 100 or negative 100. Um, and after that you want to go and... Uh, right click on your song there and go to keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes and it should make another adjustment layer called audio amplitude on top of everything and before you do anything you want to go ahead and you want to delete bass and treble off of your your song layer and go to your audio amplitude layer and delete the left channel and then delete the right channel um so all you have are both channels and go down to your drop menu on the timeline for audio amplitude and go click down on the arrow and then go click down on the arrow for effects down arrow on both channels and then click on slider and go to your graph editor and this is where it gets kind of complicated because uh, some people kind of get lost in after effects especially if you're like a beginner when it comes to expressions and graph editors and stuff like that so basically if you guys just follow my instructions you'll realize that after effects is actually really easy if you just get if you just dive into it um, really quickly so basically you want to find the lowest uh, point on the graph and if you just highlight over it, it'll tell you the unit so right here is a uh, nine it says nine it says nine point nineteen but you don't want to use any points you just want to use the whole number so I'm just gonna type in nine remember that and you want to go and find the, about the highest point and for me it's about 76 so I'm gonna use nine and 76 for uh, uh, for, just remember those two numbers and it, and it does change the numbers do change uh, uh, like through the song so uh, uh, basically the numbers will be different if you guys have a different song than me which of course you probably will so um, after you have those two numbers you want to go and you want to alt click on the slider um, stopwatch and go to this text box down here that popped up and uh, delete it delete the, the little things in there and then you want to type in linear uh, open parentheses value comma your low number which for me is like I think it was what seven no, it wasn't seven. It was nine. Um, a nine, comma your low number or your high number. I mean, um, so for me it was like seventy-four, and then comma uh, zero, comma one hundred, and then close um, up with the uh, closing parentheses. So what you, what you should have typed down below with no spaces. If you guys are having trouble with this, if you got, um, I'll have a copy and paste thing down below in the description so you guys can uh, know what's going on. So basically what you want to type in is linear, print open parentheses, value, comma, your low number, comma, your high number, comma, a zero, comma, 100, and then close bracket, and close the bracket up with um, close, parentheses, cro close parentheses, sorry. So after you're done with that, um, you're basically done with the hardest part of this tutorial. All you have to do now is go and make a new adjustment layer by going up to layer, new adjustment layer. And to be neat and tidy, I'm going to just name this glow. And make sure you're clicked out of your graph editor. So, um, and then after this, you want to go and type in a glow to your effects and presets. And drag it on to your glow layer. And go to original colors and change that to A and B colors. And now you can kind of just change, uh, go to color A, and you want to change this to whatever color you want. It'll be the color, uh, basically this is going to be the color that the glow is going to be. So um, you can choose, you know, like a blue, a green, a yellow, whatever color you want to do. I'm just going to keep that red because I want to keep it simple and really fast for this tutorial. And uh, click on your threshold and drag it, drag it all the way down to zero. And to make sure that um, on, your down, on your timeline, make sure your audio amplitude layer is clicked open so you can see the little slider thing. 
Um, so and then make sure you go, and then after that you want to go down to your timeline, open up the glow layer, open up effects, open up glow, and you should see the little uh, glow threshold number right here with zero percent. You want to alt click on uh, the stopwatch for glow threshold, and you want to grab this little pick whip thing right here. Um, you basically if you just click and drag, you'll see it, uh, on the pick whip it's kind of like brings out this like little black thing. And um, you want to uh, go all the way down, and you want to um, drag it to the slider for on the audio amplitude layer. Drag it to the slider, let go, and now you're basically done. Uh, you are done with the tutorial, and it ha you've basically made like a really cool glow effect to your um, to the beat of the song. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, make sure you guys leave a like down below, and hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.